Hi, it's Marley from Periwinkle Planner Co. In today's video, I share my planning for the month of January in my mini happy planner, along with a montage of kitty antics. But that's besides the point. Let's get into the video. So I start with a nice cup of tea from Ikea and had actually pre-planned all my stickers for once. I use wax, pa wax paper since it's nice and makes them easier, makes the stickers easier to pull off. I begin with the monthly page and decided to change it up by using some colorable stickers. One for a quote which reads, this year is going to be my best year yet. And then I decided to use the holiday playlist sticker and went into my Spotify to share some of my favorite tracks I'm taking into 2020. I really also loved the quote on the monthly divider for January. I felt like I could identify with it as it reads, but even if I am weak, I can still be kind for true power is giving instead of taking. That really resonated with me going into the new year and how I can use 2020 to slowly discover myself in the next year. I really only feel this is coming together because I recently started my graduate program leading on to my career goal, and it's crazy how experiencing all these different tools that give useful skills can really put things into perspective. P.S. If you want to see my playlist, make sure you pause the video. So since this planner is a monthly layout, it made it much more challenging to decorate. So I decided to fill in some reasonable goals of mine for January and top it off with a quote. I then listed my priorities and the recent events over the holidays that I've been extremely grateful for. I also had been looking for somewhere to stick the teacher stickers with cute quotes. So I figured a motivational page was the perfect spot. Instead of using the monthly layout traditionally, I decided to split it up and decorate. However, this is not my primary planner, so I do have more space to write more daily to-dos in. I plan on utilizing this space for overarching or long-term goals and things that need to be get done, need to get done. I also, it also will suffice as a great assignment checklist since I'm going to have a lot of those very soon. I tried to stick to a winter's pink theme, but I'm not sure how well that was represented in the weeks. But this is the first time I actually have decorated the whole month, so it was a bit different for me to do it this way. I also felt some of the stickers clash with one another a lot, so I tried to offset those clashing ones, ones with some more peaceful quotes and softer colors. I also wanted to convey some winter activities, although as of late, where I live, it hasn't been much of a winter. I just bought the Squad Girls pack and wanted to branch out a bit, so I challenged myself to use them 
as opposed to my usual botanical themes. Overall, I think I liked how the month turned out compared to the traditional spread. I definitely like the idea of adding text to the planner to liven up and add quotes that are not on stickers. I feel like it adds a bit more personalization. It was also nice to see how my style varied throughout the month to represent different interests I have and how I would probably change it if I had decorated week to week. And with that, I will end my talking portion of the video here. If you want to see how the finished spread turned out, make sure to stick around to the end because I do a little pan of the whole spread. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe because it truly helps out the channel. If you want to see more of what we do over at Periwinkle Planner Co., you can also check out our Etsy shop and Instagram all linked in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.